Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about transactional annotation in Spring Framework. I've written a simple code to explain it. What is transactional annotation and why do we need it? What exactly it does for us? First, Spring retrieves the transaction attributes. Then it gets the transaction manager from the Spring uh, context and transaction attributes like propagation, isolation and read only and time out. Transaction is created by the underlying entity manager. The target method is invoked after returning from the method invocation the transaction is committed. Let me show you a picture then you will understand in a better way. Say this is your target method okay you are doing a save you are creating some uh, some records in the database okay so uh, I'm talking about the declarative transaction management so this is your target method say you are saving employee or hotel object in this method so you don't have to write your transactions begin transaction commit okay I'll show you uh, the class then you'll understand say this, this is the this is the method okay and here I'm simply saying persist is hotel object so I'm not writing here begin transaction commit transaction I'm not handling anything session sessions and all I'm not as handling at all but here I have marked it as a transactional annotation so this annotation is coming from spring framework so the moment you mark a method public method it should be marked only in the public method because spring has to create the proxy object so once you mark this transaction at a service method service public method spring will take care of beginning a transaction and committing a transaction so this is what this picture talks about so I have the target method on top of the target method I have marked transactional the moment I mark transactional so uh, a proxy object is created a proxy method I, I would say a wrapper method is created by the spring so transaction is created by the proxy method and once the target method is completed properly happy path and the transaction will be committed and it will go to the caller so this is what we are trying to do this is my target method on top of this a wrapper method will, will be created or generated by the spring framework in the generated wrapper spring method they will begin the transaction and they will commit the transaction I don't have to worry just mark this method as transactional the best practices are only for public methods you should mark the transactional and this method should always be called by using a auto white bean the sense I'll show you the code see you have, you should always call like this from the container you should get the object then invoke it if you do in this manner say you are creating your own object new IMPL you're using new operator and creating an object and you are, if you're calling this method transaction will not work because it should be always from the spring content the object should always come from the spring container because they are going to create a proxy object while debugging I'll show you so let let me debug this and show you now actually we are going to we are going to create a hotel object in the uh, in the database table this is the hotel uh, attributes and this is the class and I have marked this method as transactional so let me start this debugging so I'm going to start the debugging I'll show you what exactly the proxy object spring is returning us So spring is loading the XML file and it is creating the bean. So so please see clearly here. If you see this object, it's not a normal hotel service object. This is a JDK dynamic or AOP proxy. That means it is creates creating a proxy object, AOP proxy object since you have an interface for this class JDK dynamic proxy will be used whereas if you don't have interface uh, CGI lib uh, proxies will be created so now this object has been created so now this 
uh, object will have a wrapper method on top of this target method which will have the begin transaction and the committing transaction code so they are doing something for us spring is doing spring is generating some code on top of my service service method so that the transactions are handled by spring itself i don't have to worry okay so that's the concept here so i'm going to uh, persist so you, you can see the transactions are taken care by so now now you can see here hibernate is taking care of uh, creating the records so i am going to show you what is the record that has been created okay so one record has been created by spring framework using transactional annotation so this annotation was used now to create one record in the database hope this video is useful about uh, transactional in spring framework if you like this video please click the like button else give me the feedback so that i can improve thank you and all the best